Should I say something stupid like, like, welcome to Flavortown? <laughs> Come on down to Flavortown. You know what I mean? That was pretty good. Like Guy Fieri. I don't have no big ass glasses. I need some glasses. Well, I gotta really you gotta, sell the look. You gotta wear them on the back of your head. And I think he has like a, a I'm not doing that though. That's too far. But I, I do want to mix in Fieri with Justin Timberlake. Come on down to Flavor Town. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. If you are here and you're just automatically being like, what the fuck is this? You clearly missed a few videos. Go back. We're going to link here, but the thumbnails here. Little tribute, little fun. And with that being said, we've got something cool here because these guys right here are an Under Armour runner. Did you hear that? What was it? A lot of people just clicked out of the video. Aww. I know. For those of you that are still here, what's up, man? You guys are the real ones. But this is the Under Armour Summit Urban TXT. It's a super long name. And these are kind of ugly, but I kind of like them. I don't know if that's a real thing. It's can a some thing. Yeah, something can be ugly enough to be like, like it just draws you in. So that's what this is. They get better looking every time I look at them and it's kind of messed up, it's super weird. But these right here, these are just, I mean, are these trendy? Is that what they are? Are they the color at least, the color? Oh yeah, I feel like it's a popular color where you're like, why? But I like it. Yeah, like this color right now is just in, mm -hmm. right? So this one right here, I, I unchoked a little bit, I loosened it up. This is not exactly how I'd wear them. I actually don't know how I'd wear them yet because the lacing system's a little bit weird, it's a little funky, kind of reminds me of the LeBron 17 lows. Yep. Yep. So there you go. But without that, that swoosh. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, my bad, my bad. Sorry, we gotta keep it like PG, right? A little bit. Yeah. Try. Doesn't have that furry ass swoosh. No furry branding. Although, look at this beautiful furry suede. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That right there. It's quality, man. It's the only piece on the shoe that is actual material, like a raw material. Everything else is a textile and a synthetic, but I really dig the back section right there. I think that that's fantastic. I love it. They also come with these extra laces. Just gonna get that out of the way real quick. Real 90s style, a little bit boot-like, like you'd see these in some boots or some ACGs or whatever. I wanted to throw those laces in, but because the lacing is so weird, I was like, yeah, man, I'm lazy. But these guys right here are not a brand new shoe. It's uh, kind of an older model, but they've been revamping the shoe in in a bunch of these like kind of tonal colorways. There's a bunch of these right now available over at underarmor.com. A friend of mine that actually works for Under Armour sent me these. He was like, hey, I think that you'd like these. And then they came in and, and they're fantastic. He also sent in uh, some, some apparel. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? So I did wanna, because I don't know if these are available right now, but if they are, like this hoodie for one, it's, it's not really hoodie season. It's kind of like actually, the area doesn't know what it wants at the moment, but pretty soon it's not going to be hoodie season here in the Sacramento area. But this is just really cool, man. It just has their, their branding. And it says that right there on the back as well. And I just think this is cool. They're very proud of their history and what they've done. Currently. Because they've gone through their ups and downs. You know what I mean? Like they've been around since 1996. That's not a long time because the main brands that are around like Adidas, Nike, stuff like that, they've been around for, I mean, we're talking decades. You know what I mean? And what I like about Under Armour is that they started off as performance. They started off as performance apparel. They got into the footwear thing. Uh, we've been reviewing their footwear, basketball footwear specifically, since they first introduced that stuff to the market and everything. And then they've slowly introduced things like this. To me, they kind of lost their way a little bit a few years ago, you know, really catering towards the hype beast and stuff. They did a knockoff uh, Osiris shoe with uh, Travis Scott and all that stuff. I thought that was a super bad move. But now they're they're starting to figure out that hype beasts don't like Under Armour. But you know who does? Dads, moms, young kids, and people that just want pure performance. So that's what they're kind of going back to. And I like that because it's knowing what you're about, knowing your roots. Huh? Huh? That was slick. I didn't even realize that when I put this shirt on. Shout out to Sneaker History, by the way. This is fresh. But back to the shoes right here. These things are super rugged. It's an interesting shoe because it's a running shoe. It's kind of a trail shoe, but it's also an urban style shoe, an urban setting. It's like how they're marketing it. It's super weird. That's the part that's confusing. It's like, can you pick one thing? It wants to be everything. It does want to be everything. And I can appreciate that. It does it well. And I actually can't wait to run in these because Mrs. Wing, during all this quarantine stuff, has finally gotten me out running. It was actually my idea though. It was, so. and I love it. But these things, look at this outsole right here, man. You know how Adidas, they use uh, continental rubber? Yep. Well, Under Armour's got a little thing with Michelin going on, so they got the, the Michelin man. He's literally right there. He's Cool. For those of you guys that are unaware, when they do collaborate with brands like that, one, it costs them money. They have to license it out. Two, it's not for the reasons that you might think. 
you know what I mean? Like a lot of people are like, oh man, this is gonna be super durable. And it's like, well, no, that's not exactly what it is. Tire rubber is just mad grippy. So when they use continental rubber, or in this case, Michelin rubber, it's actually so that you have the best traction on whatever that surface is as possible, especially in all terrain or all conditions, which is what this shoe is all about. And since this shoe is geared towards an all terrain setting, they've got some of the biggest lugs on there that I've seen on a modern runner. I ran in, uh, what was that Adidas shoe that I just ran in? The SL20. That shoe does have continental rubber, but it's the thinnest in continental, like in uh, Ultra Boost rubber is really thin, but damn, like it was very thin. So seeing something like this, I'm kind of like, wow, I haven't seen this since like 1996. Now, another thing that I like about these is that the rubber is everywhere. So you got a lot of foam breaks and all that stuff, which is great for flex. So you're going to get all of that flex and what they call that snap or uh, snap back. They also have it just in every area. You got this huge toe off area. You got every grid outlined in rubber. So it's really cool that you got all of that. Plus it'll help activate that cushion underneath it because there's all of that space. So you're gonna get a little bit of compression. Speaking of cushion, we have an EVA carrier or uh, just a foam carrier. EVA is the, the type of foam that all brands use. Uh, and then they have their proprietary blend and they name it like Phylon, Hover, Cushlon, React, Lunar, Light Strike, uh, all that stuff. The only stuff that is different is when it's an ETPU blend because that's not a straight up EVA blend. Now, along with the EVA carrier inside of that is Under Armour's Hover, which is their proprietary blend. And this stuff is super comfortable. I really like Hover. One of the shoes that I tried running in recently was the Infinite. Yep. And that shoe has an interesting kind of like heel to toe drop. It's like a massive one. It's like when you go in one of them swimming pools and like you're walking and all of a sudden you're in the deep end. That's what it feels like. So in the back of that shoe, you got a ton of cushion and in the front, you're like riding real low. This shoe is not like that. This shoe is a little bit more evened out. There is still a heel to toe drop, but it just doesn't feel as drastic. So again, I'm, I'm really excited to try to take these out because my old ass needs a little bit of everything. It needs to be able to feel that ground, but it also needs some cushion underneath, but it can't have too much or too little. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So. So I'm excited to see if these guys work for me. The upper is the part that I'm half and half with. This is the part where things kind of get a little ugly. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I think this toe box area is a little nasty. And I also don't like the material right here. I don't like that it's synthetic like fuse and stuff like that because other colorways actually have like a raw material on there, which I think looks a little bit better. However, I like the textiles that they use. It's like a super, super lightweight, airy mesh. I like that it's super ventilated. So that's a plus. It's just weird to pair it with this kind of like waterproof material. So it's great for all terrain basically. So if you're on the trail, if you're on the pavement, if you're on some gravel or whatever you should be good to go however i just think it's a little bit weird to mix it with something that's so airy and lightweight but at least you have that ventilation and again the back half of the shoe i just really love i, I love that raw material that suede is so buttery it looks fantastic on top of that i really like this wing cage right here it reminds me of the air jordan 4 i love the splatter on there again air jordan 4 the back half of the shoe i love this side of the shoe this side not so much but this side is just so awesome. Now, as far as fit is concerned, they do fit true to size. The uh, materials are awesome. Again, on foot, they feel super light. They feel super airy. The back half, super secure. This tongue area is a quarter sleeve or a three fourth sleeve. So it's kind of covered all right here. That does restrict some airflow of the midfoot section. However, it gives you like a nice firm snug fit on the midfoot, the forefoot nice and I don't want to call it loose, but I've been noticing with running shoes that fit is everything. It is. It's like, it's so different than basketball. It's not even funny. So for basketball, I like one thing for running the exact opposite and it's been blowing my mind. So do you like these? I do like them. I think they did a really good job of taking one color and making it not look monotone with all of the different materials and overlays. What do you mean by that? It has- um, Cause you, you are a stickler for monotone looks, but they can't look like different shades. I know, and right? this isn't different shades, but it's different textures, if that makes sense. Okay, I see what you're saying. It's interesting to look at. It's just not a yellow shoe. It's a lot to look at. That's the part that's like real jarring. Mm -hmm. Like you pull these out of the box, you're like, whoa, which direction were you running in? And then you start to appreciate the little things on it. You like Under Armour runners. Your favorite shoe right now to run in is an Under Armour. I love the Sonic 2s and the Sonic 3s. I'm supposed to be writing. Oh, you do like the Sonic 3s? I do. I, you didn't at first. At first, just because I was so in love with the Sonic 2 and Under Armour was nice enough to send me the Sonic 3, I need to sit down and do a comparison review of them. Mm. But really, as soon as I had about a week in them, I'm like, man, 
this shoe can do no wrong. Like, I love. So it's got just every, a little bit of everything? Yes. Yeah, it's it's really weird for runners. For me, again, it's like something that I'm just really learning. That fit really is, like you can have all the cushion in the world because that we just reviewed the- um, Pegasus 37. Yeah, mad comfortable, underfoot. Yes. Underfoot, mad comfortable. That React is legit. And then that Zoom bag is hella legit, but that shoe is narrow as shit. When you're running and you've got a fing straight jacket around your feet, like that's what it feels like. It's just like uncomfortable the entire time. And then it gets worse the longer you're out there because you're pounding the pavement and blood circulation and sweat and you're swelling. Toe splaying is not a thing in that shoe, you know what I mean? And so it's just like, man, they're fing uncomfortable. You got all this awesomeness under your feet and it just, it just all up from the upper and so it's like super weird for me where like i could see why you like the ultra boost because mm -hmm. it's got a forgiving upper and that's where i'm at where what was the shoe that i do run in it's like a new balance oh he loves the fuel propel yeah like the cushion i'm not in love with it's the fit though like the fit is accommodating enough right which is what i'm hoping these are i'm hoping this has the cushion plus the fit it's really hard to find both man it's so weird it's been very satisfying because he has been going through all the different runners he has around here, trying to find that perfect balance of everything and listening to him run in shoes that I've also ran in and I've been like, I don't like these. Mm -hmm. And then hearing him be like, ugh, and I'm like, it's not just me. <laughs> no, it's, it's for real. Like it's, it's so interesting how fine tuned everyone's preferences are. There are so many different running options. Yes and finding what you need, it's all trial and error. But yeah, it's been super interesting for me personally. I kind of know what she feels like now, um, even though we don't have like the same foot shape or anything. It's just that, that kind of like that fit need Yeah. is I can't overstate how uncomfortable a shoe can be when it's restricting feeling. And uh, yeah, so it's super weird. I really hope that these work for me. These look awesome. I like these. If you were interested in checking them out a pair, you can click the link in the description box. We'll have an affiliate link. That's not a paid promotion link. It allows us to make a percentage off of whatever it is that you buy. So it's like, that's how we get some of our revenue or whatever. I'm interested to see how tomorrow goes because I might have to go hit our link. And Why, grab what do you pair. I liked, I liked you, those. Oh, you do want a pair of these? I liked those. Why uh, don't you say something? These been sitting here for a couple of days now and you didn't say a damn thing that you wanted a pair of these. Because we got a... <laughs> yeah, we got plenty of shoes. Under Armour is underrated as far as footwear goes, apparel especially. Go check out their apparel if anything else. And if you're a, a woman, you should check out their sports bras because they're amazing. You like the sports bra? Yeah, they have different versions of, I believe it's called the Infinity. Those are my go-tos. I'm all constantly like washing our stuff so I can get those four bras back in my rotation. That's something I definitely don't know about. <laughs> yeah. Not all sports bras are created equal as well. No, I, I, I believe it. I mean, I have titty so i don't know but like i get it and with that being said yeah with all that being said we're gonna l let you guys go thank you so much for watching if you tuned in uh we appreciate you guys you guys are the real ones and with that being said i hope you guys have a great day if you go if you're running because of everything that's going on let us know down below in the comment section again thank you so much for watching and until next time guys have a good one you need my help boss hello sir did i call you what's up fool Okay, you gotta go though. Great. Thank you.